welcome to Kotlin Bytes. My name is Jacob, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about encapsulation. Encapsulation means to hide or to wrap up parts of, in this case, a class, and hide it from, in this case, the developers. So, uh, encapsulation is a common object oriented programming technique. If you're familiar with encapsulation in other languages, then it's the same in Kotlin. But if you're new to programming and you don't quite understand what encapsulation is, watch this, I think you'll learn something. For today's video, I have an example with this rectangle. It's just an object that holds a width and a height. And then I'm printing out the details. When I run this, you can see that I can access its width property and its height property. And I'm just spitting that out down here. Obviously, if I change these numbers, the numbers change accordingly as well in the output. Now let's go to the definition of KV Rectangle. I have this in a different file. And as you can see, it's a very simple class. It just, it's a data class, which means it's, pri it's primary use to hold information. And it just has these two properties. They're also constructor properties. So they're, they're built into the constructor. But what if you as a developer don't want other people, if, if you hand this off to another developer, you don't want them to interact with width and height directly. You want them to interact with a different property. And so that's what encapsulation allows you to do. It allows you to add access levels to your functions, methods, and properties. For example, there is a keyword called private. There's also keywords called protected, uh, public by default everything is public so there is private internal and protected and public uh, public basically means that anyone can access it uh, assuming they have an instance of the object private means only this file or this object depending on the scope can view this property or function protected uh, we'll get into a little bit later in another episode, but this basically means that this object plus any objects that inherit from this object can use this property. Okay, but for today's video, we're going to be using private. When I make these two properties private, we'll see that we get an error whenever we try to access these properties later on. Because they're constructor properties, we can still use them in the construction of the object, which is exactly how we want it to be used. But we can not access them later, and our error is can't access it because it is private uh, access, which is exactly how we set it up. Okay, now I want to add one more property here, and that's going to be called scale. And it's going to be of a float type. And we're going to have a def default to one. We'll also make it private. So Kotlin allows default parameters. This notation is very similar to Python and also Swift, if you're familiar, and a couple of other languages. It's pretty intuitive. You just add the equal sign right after the parameter. And then down here, I'm going to create two computated properties, one called scaled width. So if you highlight a section and you press Control or Command D, it will duplicate that. This is an IntelliJ idea and also Android Studio uh, shortcuts, so very useful. And then if you press Control alt l in Windows or Command-Alt-L uh, within these IDEs, it'll automatically format everything for you. I use this all the time. Uh, I love it when developers that I work with use it as well because it keeps the code as clean as possible. So now we have two computated properties within this class. They have, again, by default, everything is public, so we don't have to define public. So back here, rectangle has only two accessible properties. Uh, we have scaled height and scaled width. Let's take scaled width and scaled height. And notice how there's no error up here. Even though we have three parameters, 
uh, the default parameters kicking in. Uh, but if we wanted to define a scale, we could. Let's start with one. It's a float. So our width and height are eight and three. If we scale this times two, width 16, height six. This is an example of where you might try to hide certain properties, either for security reasons or for ease of use reasons. Maybe there's some complexity that you're trying to hide from other developers. Encapsulation is used for that purpose. Thanks for watching you guys. If you have any questions or if I was unclear about anything, leave your questions in the comments below. Otherwise, yeah, have a great day.